Let's start in April 2016 when Greater Manchester took charge of its health and care system as one partnership spanning NHS and local government, commissioners and providers, physical health and mental health. And in doing so we embarked upon a major transformation programme. A programme that we believe is rooted in a clear but quite distinct philosophy. So the NHS belongs as part of a wider system of population health and should be accountable to the people through the framework of local democracy as well as national democracy. I think the reason we embarked on this exercise in devolution and why there was such a passion behind it was because we desperately wanted to join up not just health and social care with other public services as well. There was a major economic drag caused by health inequalities in the city. And if we were going to do something about that, then we had to have control of the resources and the powers to be able to influence some of the social determinants, really. We can accept the limitations of public services without the active participation and control of the citizen. We can see the resources which come not from supplications to government, but from the release of talent and energy in the people and the alignment of organisations to common purpose and principles. I think over the first 15 to 18 months of the partnership, what we've done is set up a lot of programmes, we've allocated our transformational resource, we've begun to see some real changes at ground level. We've begun to see uh, GP practices actually extending their opening hours. We've begun to see pharmacists getting much more involved in community care. We've begun to see a joining up of health and social care teams in our neighbourhoods so that we're providing wraparound care for individuals. We begin to look after much better some of our key communities of identity, like our LGBT population. We're very aware that there is a very long way still to go, but we think we've made quite a good start that some people at least should be beginning to notice. What I'm really interested in, John, is your vision of what role a university like ours might play in this whole endeavour. Because from where I'm sitting, we really desperately want to collaborate. How can we make the best of what we can offer you? I think probably the most significant way is obviously through Health Innovation Manchester, because the university are one of the founding members. Nancy Rothwell is on the board. Uh, and there are multiple opportunities, whether it's through the clerk in terms of identifying uh, uh, research needs and then bringing those through into uh, uh, actual research, uh, whether it's about incubation in terms of taking you know, brilliant uh, papers and then working out how we actually actualize that, evaluation. You know, we've got a massive evaluation responsibility in terms of devolution as a whole, but also individual programs within it. Uh, and we've got a whole evaluation framework which I'm sure the University of Manchester are going to be a key partner in. So we've re reached the stage now in terms of our devolution journey where we're deep into the delivery phase. With all our transformation resources pretty much allocated, this is now about implementing care models on the ground. I think our biggest next task of government is going to be around how the finances work and particularly incentives and payment reform. At the moment the system isn't incentivised in the right direction really to focus on prevention and early intervention so we need to change some of those financing mechanisms to make sure the whole system is turned in the right direction. We're going to take on the Golden Triangle and we're going to create a hub here in uh, the north of England which will, it, the three have got to become four uh, and it could only happen here in Greater Manchester. And we're starting from a relatively low base but we've, we've had some initial skirmishes and won some significant opportunities particularly around biosciences uh, in the last uh, uh, 12 to 18 months and you know, it is our absolute determination uh, that we build a collective research offer that spans from Alderley Park up to Salford, out to the Institute of Health and Performance, obviously incorporating this university, uh, that can really compete with that triangle. Mm -hmm.